Do you have a Dell Inspiron 5000? Is it really slow? Yes, it is. You don't even have to answer the question. This laptop is very slow. When I first used this thing, I immediately recognized how sluggish this thing was. I recall a few days before upgrading this laptop, booting up the computer and opening and loading a normal internet tab on Chrome seriously took four to five minutes. It sucked. I didn't have anything on this computer except a few documents in Chrome. So there was no background processes that could possibly have been running from things I've downloaded on the internet. Out of the box, this PC is bad, plain and simple. It was to the point where the thing felt nearly unusable, but there are two ways you can increase the speed of this laptop significantly. After I used these two methods, my Dell Inspiron felt nearly as fast as my Dell XPS 15 2-in-1, which is more than twice the price of the Inspiron, and it'll cost you only a couple hours of your time and 20 bucks. Now, the two methods we will be talking about is a change to the computer's software, which is 100% free and produces very noticeable results, and an upgrade to its hardware, which will run you short only 25-ish dollars and will require you to dismantle your laptop, but I promise this is not a very difficult task and I will walk you through the whole process. So let's get started on talking about how you can make your Dell and Spron 5000 a lot faster. So our first method is removing bloatware. So first you're going to want to go to the link I put in the description. Head over there and look for the download button. Should be big and green. Click clone or download and then click download zip. All right, let the file download and drag it to your desktop to make this a little easier. You can go ahead and minimize or close the Chrome tab and then open up the zip file you just downloaded. Go ahead and drag the folder in the zip file to your desktop and close out the zip tab. All right, so go ahead, open the folder, right click Windows 10 Deep Loader GUI and click open with notepad. Now click on the text and press control A and then copy what you selected. You can go ahead, close out all the tabs we have open and go to search and find PowerShell. Very important that you run it as administrator. Click yes, and then head over to the prompt. Go ahead and press control V to paste the text you just copied, press enter, and it'll open up this tab. You'll want to click remove all bloatware. This will take a little bit, but you'll want to wait for it to say finished all tasks. Removing bloatware will give you the biggest performance boost, but these are recommended as well. All right, so once you have all of that done, you can pretty much just close out everything and delete the files that you downloaded. All right, so that's pretty much it for removing bloatware and for the software changes to make your Dell Inspiron 5000 a ton faster. So now let's talk about method two, installing an SSD and migrating Windows. All right, so the tools you'll need, small Phillips head screwdriver, a thin plastic object like an old credit card or hotel key card, and an M.2 SSD of any capacity. All right, so we're gonna start out by unscrewing all the screws at the bottom of the laptop so that we can undo the lid and get inside of this computer to install the SSD. Now, for all the screws, I made this little chart that pretty much shows me where all the screws go because not all the screws are the same, and if you kind of get lost, it's a good idea to know where the screws will go back in when you're putting this thing back together. So to get them out, I use a little magnet. It's kind of difficult to get them out like with your hand or with the screwdriver. So I just use a tiny magnet. All right, now once you have all the screws off, you're going to want to get a very thin plastic thing. I have a little tool, but you can use a little card or a hotel key card, credit card, something old. And you just want to pry it open. Don't put it in too deep, but put it in like a centimeter or two. And then once you have it open, it should look like this, all right? So go ahead and remove the lid. And there you go, you're inside the laptop. You can take this lid and put it elsewhere. Now let's flip this thing over and make it easier to install the SSD. So rotate it so that the Dell wording on the battery is not upside down. And let's look for the SSD slot and, ah, uh, there it is big bold letters SSD. All right, so that's where we're going to want to install any SSD. I chose the A Data 120 gigabyte version. It's pretty small, so be careful with it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is unscrew this right here. This pretty much is used to secure the SSD in place. Grab that SSD and you're going to want to push it inwards. So I can't do it with one hand, as you can see I struggle here, but you're going to want to push it inward toward the slot. Once that's finished, 
put the SSD secure screw back on and then also put the lid back on because you're pretty much done and snap it back in place and then put the screws back where they came from. Hopefully you use that organization chart that I showed you guys or some other method to ensure that you put the screws back in the right spot. And now we're going to want to migrate windows. So first up, head over to your search bar and type in D-I-S-K-M-G-M-T. Then click on the first result and this should come up. The new drive you just installed should be labeled unallocated. So right click, click new simple volume, click next. Make sure these two numbers match. Click next. Now you can make this letter whatever you want. I chose B because why not, but it can seriously be whatever you want. Click next. For the volume label, just put whatever you want. I just put SSD, click next. And then make sure all the data to the best of your ability is correct, and then click finish. Next up, you'll want to go to Macrium software. The link will be in my description and then click the blue download button labeled home use. Follow all of the instructions that the website provides for downloading it and then go ahead and open it and you should be greeted by this page. Go ahead and click clone this disc and this window should pop up. Click select a disc to clone to and click your all new SSD. Start dragging these rectangles at the top to the bottom SSD. Now you're probably going to run out of space. So what you're going to want to do is click cloned partition properties and remove some gigabytes from the partition size. And then click and drag the final rectangle. Then you're going to want to click on clone partition properties again, then click maximum size and then click okay. Be then good to click next. Click next a couple times and then click finish and it will start copying windows over to your SSD. Now, if you did everything correctly, you should be fine, but just to be safe, go ahead and boot to your BIOS by pressing the on button and spamming the F2 key until you get to the BIOS screen. Then head over to boot sequence and make sure that the boot option is the one that you just installed. So for me, it's the A data SSD. Then you can go ahead and click exit and you're done. So if you went ahead and did both of these steps, your Dell Inspiron 5000 should be like 10 times faster. Like seriously, I remember when I booted it for the first time after doing these two steps and this laptop was extremely fast. It was almost to the point where I felt like it was as fast as my other laptop, the Dell XPS 15 2-in-1, which let me remind you, which costed more than two times as much as this laptop. Now, if you're still thinking about, oh, should I install the SSD or still undecided, I highly recommend it, really worked for me. Also, if you want to, also if you want to use the SSD that I use, I will leave the link for that in the description. But yeah, that'll do it for this video, guys. If you have any questions about this process, please drop a comment below and I will try to help you to the best of my ability. And if you like the content, drop a like. And if you enjoy the content you're seeing, drop a sub. It really helps out the channel. Thanks for watching, peace out.